Look, boys, I'm gonna be honest with you, I kinda hate traveling. I really do. It's a pain in the ass to me. And it's even worse when you don't know what you're doing. Unfortunately for me, but fortunately for you, I do tend to travel a lot because I need to. And because of this, it's kinda like a self-correcting error where every time I do travel, I figure out one piece or one part of the puzzle that I'm doing wrong, and I usually figure it out because once I'm there, I'm struggling. This is why throughout time, I've ended up creating these hacks in my own personal own travel routine that I've noticed make traveling a breeze for me, make it more simple, especially when it comes to packing. Carrying luggage is a hassle. Today, I'm going to give you eight packing hacks that you've probably never heard of. Because most people giving out tips, they don't travel. This is straight from experience. Let's hop into it. Number one, probably the most important thing, you need the right bag. Personally, I always do a carry-on because I hate checking in bags. So whatever you do, you can pretty much do up to about two to three weeks in a carry-on if you pack it right. Now this particular one that I'm currently using is my favorite because it has a style that I want. Hence, well, I'm a style guy, so I want every piece that I own to be stylish, but also the volume that I need to get those two to three weeks worth of clothing. Now this carry-on is from Carl Friedrich. This is my carry-on of choice, but like I said, it's because I want something that not only gives me that functionality of space, but also looks good next to me when I'm dragging it around the airport. And if you know me, you know how much I love the craftsmanship that this company provides when it comes to their leather bags. Well, they just transfer that same mix of functionality, elegant design, and enduring quality to this modernly designed luggage bag that they just released out to you guys. I don't know about you guys, but this has to be the sexiest carry-on luggage bag that I've seen to date. And I've seen a lot of big brands come out with new ones. This has to be some of the nicest one. At least when I'm in the airport, I feel like I got the nicest bag next to me. And that low key, just like any other article that you wear or a piece of clothing kind of gives you confidence. It gives you a boost feeling like you got a nice accessory next to you. Now the coolest thing about this bag is that it has no zippers. None at all. I personally have never seen a carry-on like it. And it's because it's built on this sturdy aluminum frame. They use rigid frame clicks and locks and get rid of the zipper because zippers tend to be a point of weakness in most luggages. If you've ever traveled, most people just, just throw the luggage back and these end up popping when you overpack. This comes with these very sturdy hinges that you lock and you no longer have to worry about zippers. The shell of this luggage bag itself is a, a very lightweight polycarbonate, which is also important when you choose your carry-on because you don't want anything heavy that you're gonna be dragging along. And then to finish off the styling details, they just added their usual Italian vecchetta leather that Carl Friedrich uses across all their leather bags. This also has a removable battery pack, silent 360 degree Japanese spinner wheels, and a lifetime warranty, meaning these guys are so so confident in the craftsmanship of this bag, if for whatever reason it gets ruined, they promise you for the lifetime of this bag, they'll either fix it or replace it. That's why I love Carl Friedrich because they really know the craftsmanship they have. This is the brand you need to check out and if you need a good luggage bag, I recommend this one hands down. If you guys want to check it out, it is going to be linked down below. It's super affordable right now. Number two, when you are packing, you want to roll and not fold. Now any packing expert will tell you this and I've learned this myself. Tightly rolled clothes will take up less space than folded clothes. Rolling clothes is also prone to less wrinkles than when you fold it. When you fold it, you tend to get these hard creases that then you're gonna have to iron out or steam out when you get to the hotel. Number three, pack basics. Like I said, you can do about two to three weeks worth of clothes if you pack smart. And the best way to do that is by packing basics. Meaning, for example, pants stick to two, maybe three that are generic dark color that don't have any massive distressing or crazy prints or bold colors because now those pants you can wear for two to three weeks and easily interchange the shoes and the tops to make it look like you got something to wear. And if you got two to three, you can interchange them every other day and nobody would notice. Same thing for the top. Only choose your basics like your white t-shirt, your black t-shirt, a basic white button down, a polo shirt, a sweater. Those five basics itself paired with those two tops, that in and of itself gives you 10 different combinations and it's all because they're basics. And since they're simple and not anything loud and trendy, nobody's gonna be the wiser to think that you only brought seven pieces with you. Number four, get rid of the excess. When you're gonna pack your luggage, go to your closet and start picking out what you need or at least what you think you need. Then literally go down the middle 
and cut it in half. Yes, I know it sounds excessive, but I can't tell you how badly we as humans tend to overpack. We over worry and start to stress out thinking that when we get there, we, we won't have anything to wear. So we start overpacking, and then when you get to your final destination, you end up going through the whole vacation with a bunch of extra leftover clothing you didn't even get to use. Number five, have a dop kit. A dop kit is pretty much a separate mini bag where all your toiletries and grooming products go in. This just makes it easy to keep all your grooming products in one location. On top of that, protects everything inside your bag, meaning that if anything ends up spilling or breaking as you travel, you don't have to worry of it spilling onto your clothes. Number six, take two days worth of extra underwear. This is just a precautionary measure because I have been found in this situation where if you over sweat or decide to take two showers in one day or whatever reason may arise, you would want another change of underwear so you would feel refreshed. Taking two gives you kind of that leeway or cushion just in case. Number seven, talking about underwear, you want to use all the empty space. For example, if you take one or two pairs of shoes, the inside of your shoes tends to be empty space that nothing goes inside, which makes it perfect size to stuff all your socks and your underwear in to not only save space, but also keep your shoes intact to make sure they don't get over creased or packed when you're packing your luggage. And finally, number eight, to save space, you travel with your chunkiest clothing. If for whatever reason you're traveling with boots, sweats, or a sweater, or a hoodie, or or even a suit, these are things that you're gonna wanna throw on that's gonna reduce wrinkles but also save space. Just one hoodie takes up massive space of a carry-on luggage, meaning the smartest thing for you to do is to wear it on. It's not only comfortable, but it's also gonna give you room for your other basics that you're gonna need. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. Those are eight packing hacks that every travel expert needs to know to make traveling a breeze, make it more comfortable. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below, but also don't forget to check out our sponsor, Carl Friedrich. If you guys wanna check those sweet luggages, they're gonna be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.